Eddie's boring story. Curtis is probably like a sub. Let's play this again. Bear with me a sec. Well, Chad came to my old house because my, my it, you're ex, running Calabasas. Yeah, my, no, yeah. no, the one in Santa Monica. My ex, <laughs> the new one. My ex, no, the one in Santa Monica. My my the my ex swore that she would hear footsteps and saw German shepherds because the okay, one in so, Brentwood, the no, cat, uh, San Vicente, can I hear you? that, no, that no, one, no, the first no, one I went no, to. I don't. You've been to my my old house, my old, my house in Santa Monica. The one that your the ex-wife currently one. lives in. Yes. Oh, we'll just say. You know. Yeah. So so that house. So, That's a so new build, I don't though. know if you know the story behind that. House. I know the land, the, the people died. Well, the guy, so the guy. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Who has friends like this? Come on. Who has friends like this? Come on. Come on. Who has friends like this? This, in my opinion, is like. It's like a passive aggressive. Is it passive aggressive? Or is it like a. Yeah, it's kind of passive aggressive lack of respect for your story or what you're saying. This hyper fixation on the detail that doesn't matter. Like it's like it's like you telling a story about somebody you 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 somebody from work to your friend outside of work. It doesn't matter about what the person looks like. You just want to get the the kind of the fucking overall story out. But that person just keeps trying to focus in. Who is it? Was it Daniel the one I saw you that time after work? Was it Daniel the one with the... No, no, it doesn't matter what Daniel is. It's just listen to the fucking story, right? Like, this is fucking unhinged behavior. Like, so disrespectful, legitimately. And only fucking cocky rinks would be the one to sit there and take it. Only fucking Brian the cut Callan would absolutely be okay to take this fucking brutaling this fucking disrespect in 4k because this is really crazy like just shut the fuck up and let me speak one more time because this is horrendous man look at the amount of time he interrupts him i'm gonna actually try and count it well chad came to my old house because my, my it, you're ex, one in calabasas yeah my, no yeah. no the one in santa monica my ex the new one my ex no the one in santa monica my my the my ex swore that she would hear Footsteps and saw German shepherds because the okay, one in so, Brentwood, the no, cat, uh, San Vicente, can I hear you? that, no, that no, one, no, the first no, one I went no, to. I don't. You've been to my my old house, my old, my house in Santa Monica, the one that your the ex wife currently Northern lives one. in. Yes. Oh, we'll just say you know. yeah. Five. So so that house. So, That's a so new build, I don't though. know if you know Six. the story behind that. House. I know the land. The the people Seven. died. Well, the guy. So the guy who. Seven interruptions in a thirty-six second clip. Seven interruptions about him trying to remember with great detail what house it was in a 30 second second clip 36 second clip sorry 36 second seven interruptions seven seven are you insane who does this to people who imagine having a friend like this exactly <laughs> Stephen Castaneda De <laughs> no sorry but uh, <laughs> Def Jack Russell Derail, exactly, Steve, because derail the whole story. If you had a friend like this in real, that's the thing. I'm, that's the thing that's again annoying. Like, why doesn't he have just people just tell him, "Hey, can you just chill and let me tell my story?" Like, who has real friends that do this to them? Like, it's in real life that constantly interrupt your stories like this, that hyper focus on deals that don't matter, so that you can just throw you off course, so you can hurry up your fucking story, so that they can have their word to say. Who actually does this to their actual friends? Yo, big up um, Snooker Man for the membership. Appreciate it, brother. Welcome, welcome. Um, who does this to your actual friends? I don't understand this, man. This is bizarre behavior. Like, it doesn't matter like what house it was. Just listen to the fucking story. It doesn't matter if you remember the fucking specific house. Just me telling the story should be enough for you to fucking get a grip of what I'm trying to say here. But the lack of respect that this, this guy has, man. Like, if he's not talking, it really does not matter. <laughs> it's fucking wild. And Brian just sits there and takes it. This little fucking five foot two leprechaun looking ass guy, man. Like, oh yeah, yeah, man. It's so annoying. Anyway, let's, let's move on with that one. More evidence again. I love it. This, these are my clips where I love the, the best because it's not that big of a deal right that he doesn't remember the specific name of this attraction this this kind of halloween thing he's talking about for the kids but it's just a lack of acknowledgement 
of like, oh shit, my bad, not that, this. He never does that really. He just keeps, he just, he just goes. So this is another clip. It's called from Frannicus Subreddit. Night of the Jack, right? Question mark. So let's watch this clip. Normal people, when they make a mistake like this, they just go, oh yeah, my bad. But listen to what he does. This is fucking so interesting in the mind of Brendan Shaw. I think this is kind of a, not even specific to him. It's probably just a narcissistic trait that people do, right? The lack of kind of owning up to your mistakes. But just hear this out. Allisman. I get you that. Oh, dude, you know the, right up here, you know the Jack. Allisman. I get you that. Oh, dude, you know the, right up here, you know the Jacks of Night, where it's at the Gillette Ranch? The, the Pumpkin Jacks of Night, you definitely need to take your son there. But it's during Halloween, the the King's Ranch, the, uh, it's that giant ranch, they do the Jacks of Night, and they have the dopest, like, pumpkin patch and this whole Halloween thing. I go there every year, every year. You know, one of my favorite shows is Ghost Adventures with my boy Zach Baggins, right? Yeah. It, this thing's by far the best thing, I think, in I North America. Yeah. When it comes to Halloween, there's nothing better. So, did you see that, right? So, he says Jacks of Night many many times right jacks of night jacks of night jacks of night jacks of night then when it comes when chin pulls it up on the screen clearly the thing is called night of the what's it called night of the jack he sees it on the screen it's called night of the jack a normal regular person will see that but, oh shit no my bad that's what it's called night of the jack not jack of knights but he doesn't even say that he just steamrolls through his entire thing <laughs> this is such a bizarre thing to do no it's again it's a very small thing it's not important it doesn't really matter who cares i know it's is nitpicky and doesn't really whatever but representation of just how odd this human is such a bizarre thing like i've never seen people that just refuse to admit they're wrong to this level because you said jack of night but the thing's called Night of the Jack. It comes up on the screen and you just kind of just steamroll like you didn't see it. One more time. Osman, I fucking get you that. Oh, dude, you know the right up here? You know the Jacks of Night where it's at the Gillette Ranch? The, the Pumpkin Jacks of Night, you definitely need to take your son there. But it's during Halloween, the, the King's Ranch, the, uh, it's that giant ranch, they do the Jacks of Night and they have the dopest like pumpkin patch and this whole Halloween thing. I go there every year, every year. Big up Austin Casey, I appreciate you. As you don't see it, Bopper is back on Addies. Oh, you think so? Someone else mentioned it here. Do you think it's Addies? Does Addies make you do that? Where you just like, <laughs> you have no fucking realization <laughs> of the things you're saying? How you, you think it's Addies? I'm curious. What do you think? You think it's Addies? Yeah, he's into. Oh, okay, everyone's everyone's saying yes. Yeah. Steve Casaneda saying yeah. He's interrupting again. Big up, um, all good, um, Austin Casey. I appreciate it, brother. So you're right. Okay, everyone's saying the same thing. People saying he's back on Addies because he's interrupting all the time. Oh yeah, the true that story that Brian shared in it about him um always interrupting and just rambling and saying shit. And Natasha is saying no, it's his personality. <laughs> he's just dumb as bricks okay fair enough Addies make you confident like coke does okay uche says yeah you can't finish a thought when you're on that so, uh, enough uh, antivitamins exactly Addies make you repeat yourself for real for real constant derailment <laughs> i might have to i might i might have to order some Addies from the dark net and do a live stream i swear to god i think that might have to be a i think that might have to be a fucking um I think that might have to be a fucking option, you know. I think I might have to, honestly, I think I might have to order some fucking Addies for the Darknet and try and do a live stream and see how that goes. <laughs> you just go for fucking hours. I might have to do that. I swear to God, like, this random show is brought to you by Addies from username The Pumpkin Turnover. Well, I don't know, The Pumpkin Turnover. That would be fucking mad, innit? That'd be flipping crazy. I'll just go through fucking everything. Like, everything. That'd be super sick. I might have to try that out, maybe. But, yeah. <laughs> Addies, 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 mate. These Addies, man. They must taste like fucking Jolly... Do they even taste nice? Do Addies even taste like M&Ms or something? Like Jolly Ranchers or some shit? Or it's just the effect? Because the way these guys pop them, you'd think they taste like fucking Starburst or some shit, man. Do they have, like, a little bit of, like... Can you get, like, chocolate Addies? 
mint addies, strawberry addies. Like, <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> Can you get flavoured addies? I'll, I'll pop a few of them. If you get me some peanut butter addies, I'm all over those motherfuckers, bro. I'll, I'll be knocking those things back. <laughs> okay, then it tastes bitter. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll knock those bad boys back. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that on fucking camera, mate. If I get, if I get fucking deleted, I get deleted. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I'll take on for the. Uh, I'll take on for the. I'm, con- I'm, oh, sorry. I'm not- I'll, I'll take on for the content team. Um. Anyway. Um. Addies make me calm. Rotted, Natashki. It's a bit of an insight there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brandon for hours and hours, but no fucking. Okay, cool. No IRS. Addies make me calm. Nut- <laughs> Nutella Addies, yeah. I'm all over the Nutella Addies. You know the vibes, man. You know the vibes. <laughs> 